take you to Adamire by boat, but security's too tight. The Grand Guard have a watchtower there. Go inland and use the carriage station. Before his death, the old Duke of Circono spent decades building up Karnaka. After Duke Luca Bell took over, he started draining the wealth out of the city as fast as he could. Orgies and week-long feasts. Having more fun here than we were in Dunwall, it seems. Watch yourself on the way to Admire. The Duke's given the Grand Guard run of the city. Strangers get attacked on sight. I'll keep my head down. This is a good spot. Reach Adamire, take out the Crown Killer, and find out where Sokolov was taken. The alchemist, Hypatia. She'll help if she can. Sokolov likes her. I'll see you later at Adamire. Just wait to bring up the boat until after I've disabled the watchtower. Welcome to Karnaka, stranger. Maybe I should have it looked at. I don't think it's supposed to fester like that. Well, a little puss is all right. This? The dreadful will. No, it's not a religious biscuit. Maybe one of the uh, recent importers from war. Uh, let's give it a day or two. If she's still there, I can. I can ask a friend with the Grand Guard to take the squad. If I only had a boat of my own, that's the one. Uh. Don't know what I hate to deserve that. Cover your face, won't make the Grand Guard happy. In the Duke's absence, I have the following announcement. New restrictions are now in place due to the political assassinations conducted in the name of the former Empress, Emily Caldwell and carried out by the former royal... Your face is covered. Are you worried someone the might Grand recognize you? An underground market. Illegal trade means weapons and ammunition. Compliance is mandatory. Playing dice Seized tonight. Right up. In? I told you bet.
Don't be greedy, friend. <coughs> for the next group of idiots who try to get inside. you cover your face is not my affair. This is what I have for upgrading your equipment. I don't give discounts. something that might interest you. Hunted by half the people in the Empire. Part of me is excited about what happens if they find me. You're not supposed to be here! Just the thing. Oh.
void. There is something perverse in this place. I've seen cities go bad before. Smelled the rot. So have you. Fifteen years ago in Dunwall. Did you miss it? That year that made you who you are? Don't deny it. Rats in the cradle. Black smoke rising from burning bodies. An entire city crying out. Now it's happening again. Welcome back. Welcome home. People like you and the Crown Killer are part of places like this. conducting a search for heretical artifacts. What? Here? Huh? I need it! Now we're all on edge. My heart can't take much more of this. Brothers and sisters, could we have imagined that the bastard traitor Emily Caldwin and her murderous father were guilty of witchery and black heresy? The corruption is deep, without limits. The Abbey is at war in the fight to save your eternal spirit. Be wary for the agents of the Outsider. Heed my words and save yourself. Let not the Wanderer into your home, friend. Avoid the Never doubt that. There is a tale. A decade and a half old. A tale most often shared from overseer to overseer. Apart from the flocks entrusted to our care. Apart from those we give our lives to both chastise and protect. Sometimes this tale is told within our mightiest enclaves. And sometimes it is told around campfires during our most remote pilgrimages. It is the sorry story of a man most high within the abbey who was banished during the rat plague his name may not be spoken and all written record of his existence has been erased and so grave were his errors to fall from the pinnacle discipline to the muddiest ditch of disgrace that is his tale to once wear the cloth of the high overseer and to later bear the heretic's brand across the flesh of his face. How did this come to pass, brothers and sisters? Look to the seven strictures, and you will know. Karnaka is in great peril, brothers and sisters. Now, this is not news to those of you living through these times of crisis. But the source of your suffering might not be plain to you. Karnaka, 
has turned away from the Abbey of the Everyman. Those leading this city would gamble with all that we have built, with your very families. If the Abbey is pushed away, anarchy will befall this city. A chaos not seen since the time of the Great Burning. Karnaka has but one chance to save itself, and that is to return to the foe. To take solace once again in the litany on the White Cliff. I say this now to all the faithful in our society. Your allegiance should be first and most fiercely to your family, to your neighbors, and to the Abbey this of the Everyman. This body is important. Even though I don't fully understand the situation, we'll wait for the Viper over here. The will watch you for the entirety of your lifetime. Shielding you from the outer horrors of the void and from the spoiled touch Who's of running around Viper himself. Hold close to the seven strictures! This is true that a witch now sits on the throne in Dunwall. And that the Duke of Circanus is in her thrall, as is whispered in parlors and alehouses across the Empire. Do not doubt. We will verify this claim, and we will act. Smoke will billow. Fire will lick the stones of Dunwall Tower. And at the end of it all, the Abbey will stand in the ashes. Say to the flesh that is familiar, that of the fowl and sheep, the ox and fish from the cold ocean. Those who taste the flesh of the rat risk drifting through the void for all the remaining hours of all the remaining years until the world is swallowed itself by the void and all manner of things are destroyed. Set a table for your family that will keep them safe. There. Lay out a meal More that would Grand Guard soldiers. Lapdogs for the Duke. The Abbey will not allow the shadows of the boy to fall upon you. We will brandish the light or the flame as we must to keep our charges from everlasting pain. Prevent even one among us. From wandering that through was. that endless night for time without end. Seven strictures. The end of existence. The of Only those who turn from the seven strictures Adrift in the void of the dark sky. The cold, lifeless ocean that surrounds the all and threatens to devour the earth and sky and all things in between. Trust in the Abbey, my friend. Trust in the Abbey. What's going on here? Thank you, girl. came to me on the 14th day of the month of harvest. I will never forget her words. Uh, you looked up at me and asked what shrines to the outsider could be found across the aisles. She affected a look of innocence, but beneath it I saw guile. My she suspicions tried. arose at once, and I questioned her sharply until she confessed. I think I've spotted someone suspicious. No! <laughs> 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 